Hey what's up guys it's Shorzo here and this is Jamaica Plain and I've turned it into an open market and I know this isn't the most popular settlement but I've made use with the space that I've got and yeah it's turned out really good. I know a lot of you have been waiting for this build for a while and yeah here it is and this is part of a series where I'm rebuilding the entire commonwealth every single settlement so subscribe if you want to see more of that. Anyways I'm going to go ahead and show you how I've built the whole place and then I'm going to show you a nice tour at the end. Enjoy guys. I'm going to be starting with the car park because I feel like it's the perfect space for an open market because as you can see there's loads of entrances and that's exactly what I want. There are a few cars in this car park so I'm going to delete a few. But I'm going to keep this particular one here because I feel like I can do something cool with it. It could be part of a shop. I'm going to start walling some things off now and luckily I can ward off this door frame here because it's on the very edge of the settlement so yeah, quite happy I can do that. Now I'm going to grab myself a junk wall and I'm going to be using a pillar glitch of course. And I'm going to be building these junk walls into the existing concrete walls so we can have a nice barricade going all the way around. And they fit nicely into it actually, there's not many uh, restrictions. And building around this corner, it does leave a gap unfortunately, but it's an easy fix. So we'll just grab ourselves a half wall and yeah, we'll just do the exact same thing with the pillar. It's always good to mix it up as well. I will be adding some extras onto it later when I decorate the place. And yeah, that looks pretty good. I'm going to carry on the concrete wall now going all the way around to the existing house and we'll have a look at the progress so far and yeah that's the first entrance done looks nice and scrappy it's going to look much better when I decorate the place though and it's already looking like we've got so much space to play around with looking between this house and my fences there is a gap that I want to fill up and talking about this house you can't actually get inside but you can use glitches but I don't really want to do that for this build so I'm going to turn the front porch into a security post so I'm going to block up this gap with a half wall. I might do something with the space here, I'm not sure yet. There is like a lot of um, junk there that I can't delete. So what I'm going to do now is build a platform going along three times and we'll get ourselves a pillar and jump on the other side. I'm going to pull it on this corner at this exact height and we'll pick up the whole thing. And there should be a nice dirt patch within the porch where I can sink it in and this should fix the broken rooftop might take a while to line it up perfectly but it wasn't much of a hassle and yeah that looks pretty good and we'll delete one of them because we only need two now it's time to fix up the broken post and I'm going to be using these fencing posts to do that and I've tripled it up for a reason this allows me just to get it in there a bit more because if I only used one it would be too restrictive so yeah this just allows me to kind of reach into it basically and yeah there's a fixed up post there and alongside the porch, I'm just going to barricade it a bit using these half walls. Easy to do, not really much of an issue. And I'm going to do that all the way around. And I actually want to barricade the top half as well, so it looks very enclosed. But unfortunately, the pillar just won't reach. And these are the barricades that I want. But there is a resolution to this. We'll move this out of the way quickly. And you probably saw this in my last video. It's an old school trick that's used by a lot of people. We'll get ourselves three platforms and we'll get some campfires, believe it or not. And I'm going to get a few of them just to give me plenty of room to play around with. With those campfires in place now, I'm going to grab myself the barricade in the exact same position. And yeah, this allows me to sink it into the campfire. And because of the platform, it's just that little bit higher. So we can just attach it onto it. So I've done that all the way around. On this side, I'm just going to block it up completely because there's nothing much here. And I'm going to finish off the entrance with a broken warehouse wall because I feel like that looks nice and scrappy. And there we go, that is one of the security posts finished. And this will look out this whole particular area, which is not too bad. Now it's time to move on to the second entrance to the market. And each entrance is going to have its own security post. And yeah, as I said earlier, it's an open market. So most people are welcome, but if you mess about, you're going to get shot. And I do want to do something with these existing windows here. You can't get inside but I want to do something with the top of it and yeah it's going to be a security post again for this entrance. So I've deleted that junk wall and now I'm going to do a load of platforms. I'm going to do six of them and I'm going to put another one in this particular area. We'll grab ourselves a pillar and put it on this corner sunk all the way into the ground. And I've built myself a platform over here just to help me navigate where I'm going a bit more. And the pillar sinks nicely onto the concrete columns there and yeah this allows me to kind of get it in there. I don't want to sink it too much, I want to just have it just above so I can put some barricades going around. About there we'll do it. And we'll delete that one platform. I can't snap on a staircase unfortunately so I'm having to use the pillar again. And it won't snap here either so it does sink in there nicely so yeah, not, no issues. 
and we're going to start putting some barricades around unfortunately i couldn't pull it on the end but i can do it on the side so we'll just do that but there is a resolution to the end i'm just going to use a rug because yeah it gets in there nicely moving on to where the existing house is i actually want to block the access from this side because out the front is where i want access to the house so i'm going to carry on with the concrete wall going all the way around using the junk walls again and i forgot to say i do actually flip each one the other side just to give it a different look and either side i'm going to block these gaps here so there's no kind of um, security risk there and that's entrance number two finished i might put some stuff in the windows later on i might see if i can put a turret in there but anyways i've gone ahead and finished the rest of the wall so that's entrance number three finished as well but next to entrance number three is the existing house and along with that is a very broken part of the house and my plans with the broken part there's going to be a security post on top with a storage room on the bottom and with the existing house will be my own residence so let's get into it and i found a quick and easy way to fix up this broken house so i'm going to use the warehouse walls using the door frame for the middle and i'm going to be using the warehouse floors on top and i'm only going to do this once going across now i want to grab myself a pillar and I'm going to bring it to this section of the existing wall, trying to match the height of this particular section as well. And there we go, it matches in there nicely, and I could even put a new door in as well. And we'll start carrying on the floors. The reason why I didn't do the floors in the first place is because it just would not work, it was way too restrictive. But even so, I can't put a floor in this section. But from the top I can use some little ones, but I can't do it with this particular one. So I'm just going to cover it up with a rug, there's nothing to see here. And with the gap here, very easy fix, we'll just use one warehouse wall. And there we go. Looking at the flooring, I'm really happy how it goes flush with the existing flooring. And that's because we put that warehouse wall at that exact height earlier. And overall, that is the bottom half of the building finished. We've now got a new storage room that we can have for the market. Now it's time to move on to the top half. And this is going to be completely open for a security post, looking out at this entire area. Unfortunately, I can't snap on some barricades, but luckily I can freestyle it because it does um, sink in there nicely. As you can see, it kind of drops down into the platform here. And yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. And for the rest, it does actually do most of the job for me with the broken brick walls, but I do want to cover it up anyway because I do want to carry on like the wooden kind of barricade as well as having that brick to give it that reinforced look. And yeah, we'll do it to about here. And I'm going to fill up this massive gap just with a normal warehouse wall. I'm going to put a door frame in the existing house here with a new door. And yes, that is the security post finished. It looks out this entire area. So this is probably the biggest security post that I've got on this build. And yeah, for good reason, because it's right next to my residence. And talking about my residence, I actually want to do something with the top of this house because it's really flat and I feel like it has a lot of potential for something. So I'm going to put a watchtower up there and it's going to be part of this security post, of course. And I'm going to put a staircase going up and I'm going to put another step above here because yeah it's a bit of a jump and I do want settlers to actually be able to walk up here and for the bottom of the staircase I'm just going to put a couple of pillars just to give it that reinforced look because it does kind of look a bit weak and yeah we'll do one either side and on top I'm actually going to be using the prefabs for the first time because they have these pillars on them that you can't really put down yourself and if we put one parallel to each other you can actually sink walls going across which is quite lucky to be honest and yeah, I'm just going to finish it off putting some uh, different barricades going around. Moving on to the front porch, I'm going to do something similar to what I did with the other house, but I'm going to completely cover it up this time because, yeah, I want some extra security for my house. And it also needs a door, so I'm going to grab myself a brand new door using the frame and rug glitch. And this should fit nicely in there. I do like this color of door. I feel like it goes well with the house, actually. And yeah, we've got a brand new door now. And that wraps up the entire build now. I'm completely finished with it. And I really love how the house and security post go so well with the rest of the build. And because it's going to be a market, I'd say the decorations for this build is going to be the hardest part for me. So I'm going to go ahead and do that off camera. And yeah, it's going to take me longer than usual. I'm just going to give you some before shots of inside the house. So you know all the little differences that I'm going to put in. Because believe me when I say this, the transformation is going to be insane. And just a quick one before we jump into it, for those who don't know, you can lower the budget if you don't have any mods. Just go to the workshop, drop a load of weapons, go into build mode and just start storing all of them. And this will lower the budget for you. Now let's get into the tour.
Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to the tour. And yeah, it did take me a long time to decorate this place. And I did count how many hours. Uh, it took me about 30 hours in total. And in terms of the building, that just took like a whole day. And I know it doesn't look like a lot in terms of building, but it, that includes like planning and stuff like that, actually figuring out an idea. But yeah, I'll show you the front of this section first before we like go on the inside. And yeah, I've even decorated place, places that you don't really see, like around here. It just helps it blend into like the rest of the town. And I've just got the one turret to look out here. So each section where the security posts are, there is a turret. So yeah, security is pretty good. And yeah, the building limits right right here. You can't really build in this area, unfortunately. And that's why I feel like this settlement isn't very popular because it's very condensed. You can't really like build much with the space you've got. But anyways, let's have a look at the storage room. And yeah, it's basically storage for the market. I've made it look like it's kind of um, supplies for all the shopkeepers that run the place. Just different various bits and pieces of junk, weapons. So yeah, I couldn't really... Um... Oh, I also put a generator in here. So it's the generator for the whole settlement. And yeah, we've got the, uh, the big boy one. Yeah, I feel like it's tastefully decorated. I do like using these uh, Jamaica Plain signs because, yeah, of course, it goes with the location. And, um, yeah, before we go in the market, let's have a look at the house, actually. So, yeah, just random bits and pieces. I tried to do something with this car, but it kind of flies off if you um, place anything on it. It's very um, delicate in terms of that. I've got a little power armor workbench here. Perfect spot for it. And back here, I've just put loads of uh, mutt fruits We're going all the way back there. It's just for plants, really. And yeah, this is my living area slash surveillance room. So I thought it would be a good idea to put like a load of TVs up. So we'll just pretend like there's cameras like looking at the marketplace and like, around the back alleys and stuff like that. And we can just keep an eye on the whole place from here, really. And yeah, I've filled up all the shelves underneath as well. And yeah, I've managed to uh, get all the TVs the same height and level using the pillar. A little bit of a long process, but it's so worth it, as you can see. Uh, I've kind of turned this spot into like a little painting area. So yeah, it looks like we're painting pictures and stuff like that. And you can actually find these pictures that you can pick up around the, um, the area. And like, there's loads of things that you can pick up in this area, actually. Like these, um, these folding chairs, I found these in the church uh, over there. There's loads of them. You can just pick them up, bring them to your settlement, and it's just extra decoration. It's the same with these uh, pictures. You can just pick them up. They're, they're in some houses um, not far from here. So yeah, I, thought, um, I put my own like little narrative here, and it's really good, actually. So moving on upstairs, uh, yeah, there's just a few more bits and pieces. I've kept that shelf. But yeah, that's like the only thing I kept in this room, actually. So moving on upstairs, this is where I sleep, or if security want to sleep when I'm not here. And yeah, I do like putting like decorations like where there aren't any drawers. You can't really put, put much more than like a bottle or anything because there is a bit of a limit there. Also, this open cardboard box I found somewhere else, that's a really good decoration item just to fill stuff up with. Uh, I've just put a scientific laboratory here as well. But yeah, that's basically the house finished. And we'll have a look at the security post. I did I did put a um, uh, one of those security posts where you can have a settler stand on in this section. But I, I, don't, I didn't like the look of it overall. It made it look a bit too much. So I've kind of just kept it open and you know, to put a rifle on the table with some ammo. This is mainly my security post, so I didn't really want many settlers up here. Also, I've made a, like a platform with some pillars and propped it up and put a bed underneath. I thought that'd be pretty cool for one of the security guys. Because obviously inside the house is my bed. Got to put a power armor workbench as well. And moving on upstairs. Not a lot up here. It's a watchtower. So I've put a couple of chairs and tables. So we've got a fat man there. Foot locker. A desk with a rifle. And a radio just to keep him entertained. Yeah, you can have a look at the entire build here. 
you need a watchtower for a build like this because it's very um like condensed in a town area isn't it but yeah that's the house finished let's uh move on to the market yeah this is entrance number one didn't really need a turret right next to it because yeah that's a big enough uh, security post and yeah this is uh where the most of the work has gone into so the first shop here is like a little wine bar maybe some food as well and um around this section just some storage and a big bin and a jamaica plain target shooting competition and to the left here are the prizes that you get just some are like nuka colas food some like jet and stuff like that and this is like a gun shop as well as like a target shooting place as well so if you want to test out what you want to buy you're welcome to do so here <clears throat> and i always do this with my builds i like using the nuka Cola clocks and then using the blank lettering signs and just crossing it off and you, you've also got ones that have full stops on it so it looks like there's actual like bullets that have gone into it but yeah pretty cool i like putting stuff in the middle of um just Generally, I like putting stuff in the middle just to kind of make it a bit more. Because I, I hate builds where like everything's just to the side. Like, I just like to fill any kind of empty space I can. So yeah, there's a little table with a little cooking area. And I thought I'd put like a statue as well. A little Minuteman statue. Because yeah, there's a load of dirt here. So I couldn't really think of doing it, uh, like putting anything here. So just walled it all off and just put a statue. Of course, you probably saw this. This is like a little haircut stand. I put a scavenger's workbench behind it just to give it more of a kind of so much shop feel. Here. That place is nothing but trouble. Uh, what else? Uh, this is probably my favourite shop. It's it's got like a I don't know if um, the US or anywhere else get this, but we we do like a lot of car boot sales in this country. I wanted to do that kind of vibe, and I wish um, there were cars in this settlement where like the boots were open. That would be so cool. I have like a little car boot sale and uh yeah i've kind of set it up how they would like maybe like a little table put loads of random bits and pieces that farm run by nice and cheap five caps each Isn't for just something? yeah various bits and pieces and yeah i've used the car put a load of stock in there I put a christmas tree on top as well another random item that you can buy and back here is some more storage so yeah this is the shop that has the most stock from the looks of it just yeah, loads of random bits and pieces. And the last shop is just the mutt fruit shop, really. That's what they sell, because as you can see, they're growing it there. So yeah, a bit of everything. I've tried to fit anything like you can sell. So you've got like a junky kind of shop, weapon shop, uh, wine shop, and haircuts and mutt fruit shop. I'm probably missing one more thing, but yeah, as you can see, the space isn't that much. <clears throat> so moving up here is the security post very tight area so I've tried to fit what I can just a chair some shelves a few beers and that some guns nothing really much there and we have a look uh, around here as well so I've made use of this truck I've just put like a load of fire pits in there made it into like a gigantic barbecue and uh, put like a load of meat and stuff like that there so yeah, some people will uh, will sleep here, so I've put some various sleeping bags on the outside. So you might get some homeless around here who just want to stay the night. Because it's rel rel relatively safe here. It really annoys me when I can't pronounce words when I do a tour. And I'm not starting again. <laughs> so yeah, we got a turret here, so yeah, it's pretty much safe. Um, I also put chairs inside these cars because I thought, why not? I like just putting random kind of things here and there and you can actually sit in there which is pretty cool of course I used the pillar doing that and I boarded up the windows a bit more um, I managed to put a spotlight in there but unfortunately I forgot to turn it on um, but yeah anything you put in there with like the pillar glitch you can't get back out so it's stuck in there unfortunately oh, on this uh, baby pram thing I found literally just over there so yeah more decoration you can use and yeah, another sign. Everyone is welcome. So we'll move on around to the other security post. Also put some plants here, because why not? Lots of little details as well. And yeah, this is the security post. Dressed it up a bit. Looks pretty cool. 
Put an armor's workbench. And yeah, we've got a little prisoner here. That's quite funny, isn't it? <laughs> and yeah, this is uh, one of the security girls. Pro I dressed her up as well, put some proper armor on. Yeah, I just I used the pillar to sink the uh, the trap thing in here. And yeah, this is funny. <laughs> Are you right there? <laughs> I wish the church tower was part of this build, because that would have been a brilliant watchtower. And what I did with this space, I just put some junk in some storage. You can't really do much with this, because, yeah, you've got piles got of um, look about you. junk that you can't really get rid of. Here for me. But, yeah, loads of uh, Jamaica Plain signs everywhere, just to let you know it's Jamaica Plain. And, yeah, I put one of those security posts here, because this area looks out at this area, whereas a bit of an empty side here, so I've put a turret there. And a little security post, so yeah. Yeah, I can't really uh, think of anything else to show you. That is pretty much the build finished. Um, yeah, I'm really happy with this. Probably one of my favourites. Yes. I'm now going to uh, give you some nighttime shots because I always like doing that. It won't be long, it'll be like a quick little tour. But yeah, thanks for watching the tour. Here it is at night time. All the settlers are now packing up and I'll be back tomorrow to do it all over again. And it's just the market that's mainly lit up. I didn't bother lighting up the security posts because I feel like that'd be a bit silly. You don't really want to be seen as security. And on this side, I feel like that barbecue does most of the job for me. Kind of lights up the entire area here. But anyways, that is the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching as always, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.